more than the industries including factories and agriculture releases billions metric tons on emission alone. A huge part of this is made of entirely carbon dioxide. In fact, as of 2016, CO2 emission in Malaysia was 26 million metric tons. CO2 emissions can lead to greenhouse effect, ocean acidification and desertification. So this, this, is, this problem can affect the earth healthiness. So one of the technology that can reduce the problem is pressure swing absorption or called by, call PSA. So PSA is technology that used to separate some gases under pressure according to molecular species characteristic. Okay, yeah. Hi. Uh, how are you I'm fine. So uh, I want to ask you some questions. Mm. So uh, nowadays, the global warming increases rapidly. Mm. So one of the factors of that is CO2 emission. So can you explain more about CO2 emission and the impact of this problem to environment? So basically, did you know that 9.8 gigatons of CO2 is released globally in 2015, but that's only from fossil fuel. And agriculture and production also produce CO2 and it produces additional carbon dioxide emissions. This is a very serious issue because uh, increase of CO2 concentration in our air will, uh, will contribute to major problems such as greenhouse effects and uh, ocean acidification. NASA has observed that increased amount of CO2 and some other greenhouse gases. These greenhouse gases can cause the earth to trap more and more heat. This causes the earth to warm up. And the other uh, effects of carbon dioxide emission is uh, desertification. This means that more dry area will appear in our countries and resulting to uh, extreme dry period and more air pollution. Carbon dioxide does not only affect the atmosphere, it also made the ocean roughly like, uh, roughly like 30% more acidic and affecting the underwater organisms. And this number is expected to increase in the future. This means the seawater will become more acidic. Mm. Hello, Mr. No. So you as an expert on PSA technology, so can you explain more about this technology? Uh, okay, PSA it stands for pressure steam absorption is a technology uh, used to separate certain gas molecules from a mixture using high pressure. The idea is that when exposed to high pressure, gas molecules will be attracted to a solid surface and will stick to the solid surface and form a monolayer. The process will then after the process will then be exposed to low pressure, will swing to low pressure to reverse the absorption effect. Uh, that's it. Oh that's it. So can you explain the procedure? Uh, the procedure. Instead of the how it works and so that. Uh, PSC process undergoes four uh, major steps. One is pressurization. Uh, two is absorption. Three is blowdown, and fourth is purge. The pressurization is the process where the feed gas is exposed to high pressure and absorption is the step where uh, we allow it we allow the feed gas to stick to absorb to the solid surface and blow down is when you separate separate the monolayer from the mixture and the purge the purge uh, releases all the inner gases oh. and the ones that did not uh, stick to the solid surface. So from that, uh, what what pressure can do uh, to carbon dioxide? Or oh, how pressure can affect carbon dioxide? Ah, yeah. Show you.
Okay, so as you increase the pressure, the mass absorb, mass of carbon dioxide absorbed will also increase. But then, and as you reach P saturation, the mass absorb will be constant. So normally we operate, and uh, the absorption process will be operated within P saturation. Uh, the PFD looks like this. Basically, you have to feed, and then you have to vent in case of uh, overpressure. And you have to refine. This is the uh, the uh, absor absorption uh, columns. Let's see. So uh, from this, so what is the advantages of this activated carbon PSA? Uh, activated of activated carbon compared to zeolite absorption, pressure stream absorption. Uh, is better for so one thing compared to zero life resistance absorption. Uh, activated carbon PSP is not affected by humidity. Uh, zero life, on the other hand, when there is presence of water in the feed gas, it will uh, reduce the performance of the absorption process. Also, uh, Activated carbon PSA is more cost effective because it is more energy efficient and the yield is higher. Also, it is cheaper uh, compared to other PSA methods. Uh, because of that, activated carbon PSA is the most is the common most common absorption PSA absorption process used in biogas. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you for your help. In the near future, we can expect more and better technology for carbon capture in order to solve the carbon emission problem. PSA can reduce the environmental problem that we mentioned before and give positive effect to the Earth. Go share the Earth.